For Android, the setup is pretty similar to iOS. You have a choice of whether to use the React Native Link option or the manual option. For this video, I'm going to be doing the manual option just because during my implementation, I ran into some problems with React Native Link and it ended up having to do some ugly cleanup. So we're going to take the conservative route and just take the manual approach. <clears throat> so this instructs us that we need to alter our settings.gradle file and add this line here. So I'll just copy it. And then I'll go into VS Code. I'll navigate to the Android directory. I'll scroll down until I find settings.gradle. I'll open this up and I'll insert our line anywhere past the first line. All right. I went ahead and pasted that in, so we should be good to go. Let's go back to the documentation. Now, <clears throat> there are a few alterations we'll make to our app level build.gradle file. So let's go back into our code editor. Let's exit out of settings.gradle. Let's scroll up. Let's make sure we expand out the app directory. Under the app directory, open up the build.gradle file, and please ensure that this is the build.gradle under the app directory. There is another one at the root level, but we don't want to touch that one. Just focus on the app level build.gradle file. Scroll down to the dependency section, and we're going to add a line here. So if we go back into the documentation, we'll see this line here, copy it, Go back into your code editor, and we're just going to add that right in there. Now let's go back to the documentation, and now it adds us. It wants us to add another line here under the <coughs> React.Gradle configuration. So let's copy that line and go back into our build.gradle file. Scroll on up. And up at the top, you'll see a line that says apply from node modules react native read.gradle. Below this line, copy and paste the line from the documentation. Save that. Now let's go back to the docs. The docs tell us to make a few updates to the main application.java file. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to import code push. So let's copy that line. Let's go back into the code editor. Let's go ahead and exit out of build.gradle. Okay, now under app, go to SRC, and then main, and then Java, com, and locate your main activity and main application files. Go ahead and open up your main application.java file. At the top, after, anywhere after the first line, we can go ahead and import code push as per the documentation. Let's go back into the documentation, and this is going to have us do a second step here override the git.js bundle file. So we'll just copy this line. and go back into main application. We're going to scroll down a while. And then in here, within the React Native Host class, we're just going to come in here and paste it in. I'll fix the formatting. All right, that looks good. I'll go back into the documentation. And I'll look at the third step here. And it tells us that we need to include this line with the package includes. So I'll copy that, go back into our code navigator, and here you can see here's all of our packages being imported. So I'll just add a new line, and I'll paste it in there, ask for the documentation. 
you have to have a comma at the end just to make sure formatting is correct, assuming you have packages after. And then you can save it. You may notice that it says your deployment key here. Don't worry about that now. We'll add that in later. Now if we continue on the documentation, it gives us some more instructions. <clears throat> 